Okay, today, big day for the 8.6. We are going to be priming the engine bay, so hopefully by the end of this video, engine bay is fully primed. Dalton may come later, but otherwise this is a solo mission. I bought some drop sheets, so we're going to try to make a booth. So hopefully this goes well. Alright, so what happened while we were gone was I primed the seams and then seam sealed over that. Um, I just did a light coat of primer in a couple of other areas just to kind of test how it was going to go. Um, but clearly there's a lot of work before we can prime. I have to sand a bit more and then mask everything off, especially all the brake lines. And then I got to mask off the wheel wells and then I, my drop sheets are going to go up and get kind of get stapled along to these rafters so we have a wall here, wall here, wall here, wall here, and I'm going to cut down the middle of it so it kind of opens up. And then we're going to have to cover the floor with something. I just don't want excess paint and primer to go all over my stuff. I think it would be a shame to suddenly have primer colored wheels. We're getting ready. Got the heater. It's been warming up the engine bay for the past while because it's kind of cold outside. But we're getting close. We got most of this masked off on the inside. Now, me and Dalton, we actually looked for this for like two hours. I looked at my toolbox like five times, and then Dalton looked in it once and it was there. So. Adam's a special boy. Some bullshit. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, no time lapse, these! Do some third world country fucking surgery in this <laughs> in this booth. I don't know. Fuck it. But yeah, check out the booth. We got the edges here taped up. I will be your surgeon today. And uh, so we can paint this. And then this is all blocked off from hitting the ground. Yeah, pretty stoked. Next thing we gotta do is wax and grease remover everything, then hit everything with the tack cloth. And start laying down some coats of primer. So, uh, having a great time. Let's get it done. Yeah, we got Bobbert outside the booth. And, uh, yeah. Start cleaning this hoe. We're gonna have a little break, take a sip of a ha. And, uh, get on with it. Dalton and I just did a bunch of passes with the wax and grease remover, making sure not to touch it with the raw hands after. We're just gonna let it heat up a bit more in here. Got the heater in there. And then hit it with the tack cloth. And go straight into priming. Almost there. It's almost prime time. It's almost there. Yeah. So that's exciting. We're probably gonna fuck it, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, man, it's gonna turn out great. So much work went into this. Oh my god. We built a booth, so it better turn out. All right, we're going in. First coat. So, while he's in there doing that, I'm going to show off the subframe a little bit. This is going to be the next project after the engine bay. So, as you can see, it's a little crusty right now. We got, uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to paint this. I don't know what's going on with these. I don't know if we're keeping them or not. But yeah, basically just total refresh, keep what's good, and uh, 
replace what's not good. That's after the engine bay. But uh, yeah, how's it going? First coat's done. First coat's done. And just like that. You gotta go outside, but... <laughs> yeah, it's boxed in here, eh? Yeah, it doesn't look like too much went up, though. <laughs> All the wheels are safe. Yeah. That was the main goal. I mean, we got some crusties over here that we don't really worry about. But... Still. That's what matters. The collection. Yeah. Alright, so that was first coat down. We're gonna go in for probably just gonna go until we're finished uh the couple of cans we have. We have two two of those cans. And um then the next video is gonna be us sanding the primer and then laying down the paint. Everything we're using here is like um Stuff you can get a Canadian Tire or Lord Co or whatever they have in the U.S. So you should be able to do it at home. We're not doing anything special. We're actually going to be using Tremclad rust paint, which is like <laughs> hardware store paint. So yeah, we'll see how it turns out, and then maybe you can do it at home. Yeah. You got to work with what you got. Yeah, exactly. It's not like we're professional painters. Yeah. I mean, you used to work at a body shop. Or I just sanded shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. Paint prep. Paint prep. But that's about it. Yeah. We're gonna finish up the uh, the rest of the coats. Yeah, and then uh, maybe we'll let it dry for like 45 minutes and then go in and just take a look at how it looks before sanding. And yeah. It is so potent in here. Shop's a bit of a mess. Yeah. We've been scouring to get this done. That's good. Look at that thing. Look at that. All right, we're gonna go for it. Okay, so he's gonna finish that up. This is the last coat, which is nice. And then I think tomorrow we're gonna go get some guide coat from uh, Lord, Co. Lord Co. And then we'll give her a little scuff, make sure it's all smooth. And then we'll get ready for the paint. Doing God's work. So there was the last coat of the primer. Uh, so that's pretty much it for today. Yeah, man. Tomorrow we're gonna wet sand, or I think we're gonna dry sand, or just scuff the primer down. <laughs> it folds so aggressively. It just inhales so much pain. So it's it's potent even out here. Yeah, life is life is good, uh, real good. I but um, real high right now. Yeah, that's all right. Um, so yeah, that's the moral of that story. And uh, primer's on there. Excited to finally see it one color. It's very motivating. Mm -hmm. or it's not a color yet, but it's like, you know, one shade. We're seeing the vision. Yeah. We're getting motivation here. And, uh, so yeah. As always, if you want, pick up some merch. Look at that. Look at the hat. You might have seen Vinny Hacker wearing this <laughs> in one of his uh, Twitch streams. Yeah, so if you want to be like Cool Guy Dalton and Cool, by cool Guy Vinny, then uh, pick up a hat, pick up some merch. And maybe we can afford some paint if you do that. Just kidding, the paint's already bought from the hardware store. But, um, yeah, like, comment, what should they comment? You know what, comment, if, if we hadn't already have chosen the 8.6's color, then comment what color you would like to see the 8.6. Do they know what color it's going to be? I think we probably said it, but who knows. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I mean, the engine bay is going to be the same color, so you'll see on Thursday. So Thursday upload, stay tuned for paint in the bay. And then we're moving, we're moving forward with the 8.6. It's finally gone. Yeah, it's going. We're getting traction. Oh yeah, so we'll have the subframe. I think Dalton skimmed over this, but we're going to refresh the subframe. Lower control arm bushings need to be replaced. They're fact. 
the brakes are all being replaced and we're just gonna clean that up make it a lot nicer then we're gonna paint the block and then refresh the ka and then slide the ka in and we'll get ben's help for that because uh parts master ben is also engine master ben and um maybe we'll have help from Noah on the facetime but otherwise comment like subscribe stay tuned for the next video on thursday and frog off Let's go.